Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Enerplex cloth face mask. These are Amazon's number one bestseller in cloth face mask. Here is the listing. They come in a pack of three for $24.95 which makes each mask around $8. Making these the most expensive masks that we've tested so far. These also have a 4.5 out of 5 rating with over 100,000 reviews. So these are actually the second face masks that we've tested that are cloth face masks. And we typically do not recommend cloth face masks. And that's because they don't contain a filtration layer. The layer is an active ingredient that helps filter out harmful particles, which is called melt-blown polypropylene. So generally speaking, a cloth face mask won't protect you as much as an N95, K N95, KF94 face mask. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. So these do come in a large size and this is how they look. They don't have a nose wire and like I said, this is a three layer mask. So the ear loops are stitched in, so they're not going anywhere. <laughs> and this is the material from the outside and this is the material from the inside. So there are two different materials on both sides. The inside material does seem to be a lot softer. So let's go ahead and put this on and see how they fit. <laughs> so the, like I said, these are a larger mask, so they don't fit my face quite properly. They are very big. The material from the inside is actually very comfortable, but it's because it's a soft fabric. So obviously because of how large they are, I'm not getting any seal. And I find myself trying to like play around with the nose wire, but like I said, this doesn't have a nose wire. So there's no way I'm getting any seal on the top of my face. And like I said, it's just a very loose fit, but it's also because of the size. They do have quite a bit of collapse and they're not as breathable as I thought they'd be very large on my face, but that's just because these are a larger size. So with that being said, we're going to see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The sample tested at 32.93% with a pressure drop of 6.7 millimeters of water. So we're back now and unfortunately these cloth face masks tested very low in terms of filtration efficiency, which is why we're not able to recommend these face masks. And as I mentioned, these are $8 each. So for the price, you can definitely find some good quality N95 or K95s that you know that will protect you. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next. Or if you would like to send us a mask or respirator, please take a look at our description box. We're going to be leaving our address and our website, which is acumet.com, along with our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.